let me quickly make mention of something interesting. I touched on it, but I must mention it. Sometimes we are not struggling. But because everyone is complaining, we begin to complain. Be careful of that. Be careful of that. You might not want to make it sound like everything is extremely rosy, but learn to respond with Alhamdulillah. Because on the day of judgment, there is a special status for those who used to praise Allah with Alhamdulillah upon all conditions. A caller will call, where are those who used to praise Allah when they were in hardship and say Alhamdulillah even when they were in ease? Where are they? So learn to thank Allah. Sometimes what we have is relatively, when I say relatively, I mean compared to those who are in a worse of condition, it's nothing. They would look at you and wish for your life with your problems and with everything you're going through. They would wish for it. And we're sitting here complaining, Allah has blessed us. Reach out to others, Allah will reach out to you. Make things easy for others, Allah will make things easy for you. That's how it should be. It's a hadith. مَن نَفَّسَ عَن مُسْلِمٍ كُرْبَةً مِن كُرَبِ الدُّنْيَا نَفَّسَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ مِن كُرَبِ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ Similar wording. Whoever creates ease for a believer, whoever creates ease in this world, Allah will create ease for them in this world and the next. Wow. I created ease. Do you know what is scary? The opposite is true. The opposite is true. That is what is scary. You create hardship for someone. Allah will create hardship for you. <laughs> that is something very scary. We don't talk about it because we are afraid. But it's a fact. If Allah is telling you, make things easy. Why are you making life difficult for these people? For what? Create ease. Help the people. Come, have a big heart. It's okay. If someone really deceived you a little bit here and there, if it did not really destroy you, it's okay. It's going to happen. At least your name is not from the deceivers, but from the victims. You see the point? I'm not saying go out and become a victim intentionally. You save yourself. But... Would you rather your name be from among the deceivers or the victims? A victim. Anytime when I go on the day of Qiyamah, a victim has a status, but the one who perpetrated the crime, what status do they have? May Allah forgive us.